the snare in the face, swear in the face, this fucking world better prepare to get laced because they're gonna taste my venom. I got that venom, venom, venom. And there is an ultimate clothing trap. Can't believe shit, I'm running here. Oh, that's a good one. 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 Oh, What the hell do you think of yourself? Just say made another one, baby. I wanna see some ass. I wanna see some ass. I'm not gonna sit and be with somebody that I have to cater for when I've been suffering. I suffered for 19 years. It's time for me to shake my ass on a yacht. Oh, oh my God! God. In the back! In a song! <laughs> Astaghfirullah fam, who is this? I really don't see anything wrong with it. But Guru, four, four vibes is the limit. Listen, double the risk, double the reward. <laughs> this guy went above and beyond. <laughs> Times are tough, he's just trying to drive us by the risk. <laughs> Trying the flirting trend. This is a sign to never believe any recommendations on TikTok. Ruined my eyed henna in crying. Oh my god, okay. This is what I wanted, okay? This is the pastels. And this is what I got. That's my mama for a Japanese soda and I got Starbucks. And a cake pop. A $2.50 cake pop. I'm never complimenting a British person ever again. Why did I waste... 30 minutes of my entire life just complimenting someone. I was just like, hey, I really like your shirt. He goes like, oh, do you? I was like, yeah, it's really nice. And he was like, is it? And I was like, yeah, like, nice color. And he was like, do you think so? And I was like, yeah, like, it's a nice cut. And then he goes like, really? And I was like, okay. Uh, see, now you're not giving me an exit. I just want to leave. I, I'm done complimenting you. You're either not going to accept it or move on. You can't do this. You know, you can't just keep asking for other validation. Like, it's too much. And then I was just like, okay, let me end this. I was like, where'd you get it from? Like, I want to kind of get that shirt too. And he was like, would you? Would you? Would you really? Do you think so? I can't do that. Are you that mentally enslaved and intellectually subservient and intellectually molested and ideologically molested? You're lying if you don't find women in hijab beautiful. family i don't even have time for nothing i'm working every single day i'm depressed reposting the time my brother and his friends got caught in a group i'd hug but cctv camera Saya terima nikah dan kawinnya Amanda Putri Zakia Tinggi Zaki Salma Raudi dengan mas kawin tersebut di Bandung المحترم احترمه وليغلط اشرب دمه Where you get your grills from? 
I got them from uh, Johnny Dane. You lying? Yeah. <laughs> Where you really get them from? I got them from my jeweler. <laughs> Gifts we exchanged at seven and promised to keep forever. I wore it after 20 years to her wedding. Tell me you're in Turkey without saying you're in Turkey. I look amazing. Let's see what Mama Fat has to say about this. Pull up in my hood, best dress. Next thing, upgrade. Mama, I'm going out. 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 Mama, I'll see you later. Yo, 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 what do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? Oh, thank you. Thank no, what, you. What do you do for a living? No, no. What? Bitch, I be killing these beats. Damn, I got an F16 on my body. I told a little nigga to. Um, I'll do the number seven. Number eleven. Seven. Number eleven. Seven. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. It's okay. Number seven. Okay, number eleven. As they grow, I see myself in the pistol smoke. Fool, I'm the kind of cheater. Little homies wanna be like on my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light. Men look so dumb and stupid. I know you didn't want to turn on your stitches. I know y'all really sat in that car and were like, What TikTok idea should I make? And that's what you came up with. Ooh, it's supposed to be a joke. What's funny? Where's the joke? I don't see it. Give these two men an Olympic gold medal for the dumbest joke of the week. Like, even the Muslim men couldn't defend y'all. They're like, bro, you making us look bad. A quick one-on-one -on -one lesson because apparently you have the gains, but no brains. The hijab is not exclusive to any ethnicity. And not only that, but in Somalia and East African countries that are Muslim, most of them wear the hijabs where the conventionally out of countries that are expected to be Muslim. What? When your college refused to hang your country's flag at graduation, so you gave her her own spotlight instead. So this right here is the case of Adnan Sayed. Adnan Sayed was accused and convicted of murder of the year 2000 of his ex-girlfriend's killing. He was sentenced to life plus 30 years.
Now, when you convict somebody of a serious crime like murder, you're supposed to have witnesses, you're supposed to have testimony, you're supposed to have DNA, you're supposed to have the murder weapon, right? For Adnan's case, none of these things were actually found. He's been fighting for a simple retrial where he kept on getting denied. Matter of fact, the Supreme Court denied his case for a retrial. Now, he was only about 17, 18 when this case happened. The victim was his ex-girlfriend. Now, they kept their relationship a secret due to cultural and religious differences. His only chance at freedom right now is to accept responsibility of the crime where he might be able to get parole. He did not want to do that. He has maintained his innocence. Sisters, wear your hijab properly or don't wear it at all is the most devilish advice you will ever hear. Doing some good deed is better than not doing any good deed at all. And if anybody, anybody, guy or girl ever gives you this advice, just throw it in the garbage. Just say you hate Islam. Just say you're Islamophobic. It's easier. Because if you were actually like an ex-Muslim or knew anything about Islam, you would know that you're taking those verses completely out of context. To understand what I'm saying, sins are divided into two categories, minor and major. So is apostasy. Minor apostasy is when you like leave the religion of Islam and uh, nothing happens. There are no legal punishments for it, but like hopefully you'll be, you know, guided back towards it. Then there's major apostasy. What that means is you're going to leave the religion, but not only that, you're going to violently attack people of that religion and attack and rebel that religion itself. Basically, violent Islamophobia. And now in that case, the legal punishment for that is, you know, shedding their blood because self-defense, right? You're implying that if a person leaves Islam, we would kill them. No, no. Stop spreading lies and false claims to just slander Islam. It's so disrespectful. Take your ignorance somewhere else. Fifty-fifty. 